Psalm 67. God, be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Psalm 67. I love the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms is amazing. First, we have to define some words. The word invocation means calling on God for help. The word doxology is a reference to an oral written praise to God. Psalm 67 is both an invocation to God and it's a doxology, calling on God to help their quest. In fact, this Psalm states that your way may be known on the earth, Lord your salvation among all the nations. That's Psalm 67, verse two. I love Psalms. This is a rather New Testament statement though, don't you think? We need to understand that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is keen to present his ways to everyone. The Lord is interested in saving people, people that are created in his image. God does not need to be saved. It is because of sin that we are separated from God. Now, this is why Jesus Christ came, God sent him, and died on the cross to pay the cost of our sin with the shedding of his perfect blood and rose again from death after three days to give us, give us the gift of eternal life, the gift of eternal life. That's absolutely stunning and that's amazing. Now, when we think that through, we begin to understand what God is doing. And the Psalms is music. I love it because uh, it's 150 chapters of music. There are five books of Psalms. We're gonna look at book two, three, and four today and uh, or over the next few days. And I think it's important that we understand that the, the, the music is written in such a way that we can understand the words, we can read the words and, and digest the words and learn the Psalms. But at the same time, we have to understand that this was put to a tune. Now, if you're a musician or if you're somebody who uh, plays something like a guitar or a piano or something like that, then you can actually uh, put this to music and sing those words. And that's what God has done. God did not preserve the music of the Psalms, but he preserved the Psalms themselves. So we can understand and we can know what he is saying. Get your Bible guide, turn to today's page. If you don't have a Bible guide, why not? Write to the address at the bottom of the screen or call us, and we'd be happy to send one to you. And by the way, uh, if you wanna just give a donation, you have your own way of reading, that's great. Also, you can go to www.biblediscoverytv.com and when you go on biblediscoverytv.com, same thing there. Very, very important. And by the way, Bible Discovery TV also has this program. You may be watching this program on biblediscoverytv.com. That's great. Uh, great to have you here and uh, to be a part of the study of the book of Psalms. This is amazing. As we understand and listen to the Lord, we're, we're looking at the invocation and the doxology. Now, this is a look at Psalm 67. So as we go to Psalm 67, let's pray and ask the Lord to teach us his way and show us his paths and the things he's done. Father, I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ that you would help us to hear what you say and how you say it, because how we hear it is not from this life but we need to go in your word and take in what's in your word. The power of the Holy Spirit in us needs to apply it. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Very important that we do that. 
Now, as we look at Psalm 67, consider this. God, be merciful to us and bless us. God, be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. Now, this first line is very important. And Selah is a word we don't know what the meaning is, but it means, or we can assume it means to pause for a moment. We carry on with verse two and it says that your way may be known on earth. That your way may be known on earth, your salvation among all the nations. You got to be kidding me. Are you serious? Absolutely. God desires his way, the way he does things, to be known to everyone. The Lord desires for us to know and have his salvation. Salvation is an amazing thing. Now, it's simple to consider, but it's it's simple to do. But once we're saved, we go through sanctification. It becomes amazing. We learn more about our salvation, what God has done for us as we live this life. Very, very key to knowing and realizing what God has done. And beloved, as we do that, we understand that God is trying to communicate to the people around us, to our family and to our friends, to the people we love. He's trying to communicate what he's done for us so that they too can understand. Now, these are the first two verses of the song. Now, let's go on to the song and let's learn more. It says in Psalm 67, verse three and four, it says, let the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you, everybody, everybody. And then he says in verse four, O let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Let the peoples praise you, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. That's what they do when they're glad. For you shall judge the people righteously, right with God, and govern the nations on earth. Selah, there's a pause again. Now here we come to this very important point. The Lord God will come and govern the world for a thousand years. When he does come, he's going to do that. There is no way for us to know God's leadership except to let him lead, let him lead. Now, a lot of people, they live their life and they don't want to let Jesus Christ lead. But when we let God lead, we understand that, okay, Lord, you're leading and I need to allow you to lead because I'm used to doing it myself. Very important that we understand that we are used to guiding our own life, doing our own thing. But when we come to Jesus Christ, we say, Lord, you be my Lord, come into my life. I'm going to allow you to lead me. And God helps us go along. And and as it goes along, our lives change and we begin to make decisions and he can help us when we make decisions. And this is very important, beloved, as we get along in life, read the Bible, grow in God, understand, because as we grow in God, God begins to help us make right decisions. Very important. Psalm 67, five and seven say, let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let them praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God shall bless us. Our own God shall bless us. We didn't do it ourselves. God shall bless us and all and, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him, shall respect God. So what does that mean? Well, here we have the the thing that I think of when when we serve God, even the earth reaps rewards. We look forward to the healing of everything. You know, the Bible says in Romans 8 that all creation groans waiting for the revealing of the sons of man. You know, I look forward to the time when that revealing of the sons of man comes to play. Jesus Christ comes back and takes us away for a short period of time. And then we come back to rule. And uh, God is ruling, Jesus Christ is ruling, and we have assignments. That is stunning. That's exciting, actually. And our assignments, we have to understand that what we do in this life prepares us for what our assignments are in eternity. So God brings things into our life and things happen. And we say, oh, Lord, I don't want to do this. I don't want, but hold on a minute. God is teaching us. And as he teaches us, he prepares us for eternity. That's exciting. You know, essentially it's a, 
prepared jobs situation so that God is preparing you for what you're going to do. And so when you do get to eternity, God's going to say, okay, you graduated. Now it's time to get the work. Now think of it that way. Because a lot of people think, I just got to do this in my life. Hold on a minute. Christians know and understand that the Lord Jesus Christ has a plan for forever. I want to tell you something. If you've never invited Jesus Christ into your heart, this is the time to do it. Now is the time. This is the place wherever you're at, wherever you're sitting right now. You simply call out to God and just, you don't have to close your eyes if you don't want to. Just call out to God and say, God, I'm tired. I, I, I've tried to live my life, but it hasn't worked. I need your help. I know there's sin in my life. I need you to help me. In Jesus' name, come and be the Lord of my life. I give my life to you. And when you give your life to him, he changes everything.